I saw the body of TB Joshua in hellfire. It is absolutely the audacity for me. What a temerity. As in, she is absolutely, certainly sure that Prophet TB Joshua is absolutely in hellfire. Now, how do I know that she is sure that she knew that Prophet TB Joshua is in hellfire? I have been to hellfire. I have felt the pain, the torture. I don't want to go there and be burnt for everlasting. No, I don't want to go there. And then, man, it is just the fact that she just has been there because it takes someone to be there for the person to know that someone is there. But what I am trying to understand is that she said she saw Prophet TB Joshua in hellfire and she's also saying, I don't want to go to hellfire. So I am just confused here. You don't want to go to hellfire, but you saw Prophet TB Joshua in hellfire. That means you have been there. So how did you manage to go? As in, were you there in your dream or you die, go there, I be it was in a trance or you just sit down, cannot or think or imaginalize something that you're just saying in front of camera to trying to convince people because me i am just confused and her confusion is trying to confuse my confusion but it is the audacity for me madam i'm trying to understand i am not trying to argue with you if prophet T. joshua is in hellfire or not but you saying that you have been in hellfire and still saying that you don't want to go there is what i really don't understand and now it is not only prophet T. joshua that she has been in hellfire she is showing also that she also saw this particular person in hellfire but i'm sorry to tell you that bishop idausa is in hellfire he's crying Idausa went to hellfire. I saw him. He was tormented in hell. I saw Bishop Idausa in hell. And he was putting long chain. Now, I can't depend on me. So, this woman actually went to hellfire. And she just went there. I don't know if she just untouched. Because from what they teach us while we're growing up is that there is fire in hellfire. I bet the fire no come burn her. I bet as the fire they burn her, she know they react to the burning of the fire. But she was busy looking at the faces of the people waiting for the hellfire. So, that she could see Prophet C.B. Joshua. So, that she could also see Bishop Edahosa. This thing is still confusing my confusion. Madam, I'm not trying to understand. Please. <laughs> So when you go there, as the devil, when they in charge of the hellfire, so they taught us. Just they they, they look at you as you come, they observe the faces of people. Welcome they there. So you absolutely know their face that when you are in hellfire, you were able to recognize them. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Let's just listen to her reason for why Idahusa is in hellfire. Idahusa is tormented in hell today because of ring, because of earring. Uh, sorry, I learned the member to put on others adornment because he himself was putting a long chain. He didn't know. You have heard from her. She said it's because Bishop Idahosa was wearing one long chain and also wearing rings. So she is saying that it is okay to wed, but to wed with a ring is what will take you to hellfire. Now look at my fingers. So did you see me wearing any ring? That means I'm not going to hellfire. But please, make Kuna help me. Ask Mommy Gio. As I not come wearing, I call the wearing to watch. I beg, will I go to hellfire? He was wedding the church member with ring. He was also putting ring in his hand. Be love, you if you are if you are a pastor, run away from ring. Don't wed your church member with ring because what I'm telling you is the truth and nothing but the truth. And also, there are some places I love wearing my bracelet and my anklet. Would this one also take me to hellfire? Because I don't understand. If long chain and ring make one to go to hellfire, now what will not make one not to go to hellfire? While I'm just trying to consider if this woman is actually okay, I'll be if she needs a psychiatric to attend to her. She's still saying more. Let's hear her. To look at it very well because this is what is raining. In my company here, I saw my neighbor wife this morning. She covered the same cap. Though I own was flower type, I didn't want to buy flower type because I don't use flower things again, I use plain things. <laughs> we have heard her again. So, wearing bonnet is another road to help fire. So, hear me if you are wearing this bonnet just like she's demonstrated in this particular video, you are going to help fire. But what she's also saying that she does not like uh, flower things, and if she wants to wear anything, it has to be plain. So, if you wear bonnets, you go to hellfire. But if you look at this her particular picture, you will notice that she's actually wearing something that looks like hijab, as if she's covering herself from head to toe. So, covering oneself is not taking you to heaven. So, when you now use something like that bonnet to cover yourself, you're going to hellfire. <laughs> Now, just be taking notes. I hope you have your jotter and your pen to be writing down things that will drag you to hellfire. First, if you are wearing that long chain of Bishop Idaosa, hellfire is yours. If you are wedding or if you are wedded and you are wearing ring, 
hellfire belongs to you now if you are wearing hair bonnet you are going to hellfire now how do we know that you're going to hellfire how do we know that wearing bonnet is going to definitely take one to hellfire if you go everywhere you see women you see young ladies in the campus you see them in the market everywhere they are using this car god doesn't want us to use things like this this is what the world are using now Pick on us, you know, God. Hey, 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 please do not involve God in what you're just trying to see. Oh, my, these people are just trying to confuse us in this our Christianity and just wrote on making heaven. She said that God does not want it. I don't even understand where she got to know these things. People just sit down, trying to confuse people, trying to make people do things they don't want to do. I have seen people who refuse to wear earrings because of what happened in the Bible. I just don't want to quote it because, ah, yes, I can quote it. I beg, mommy, G O. What I'm just interested in, you convincing me that all these things are going to take one to her fire okay let's just hear her reason why wearing bonnet and everything that has to do bonnet that will drag anyone that wears it to her fire it's just like a wig i carry this and cover on my head but in the dream i was shown that it was a wig it's the same like a wig in her reason, she's trying to say that the bonnet looks like wig. Now, what is also wrong in wearing wig? She has also explained. I don't want to list the names of people that are wearing wig, but if you know that you fall in the category of people that are wearing wig and are still wearing this hair bonnet and also wearing long chain and also wearing ring, whether married or not, just consider, in fact, conclude that you have mentioned already in Hellfire. We have plenty we go go there. I remember one of my friends that used to say, ah. You know, say in the go hellfire. Say as we come plenty on the go the hellfire. Say when we reach there, as we plenty we go hold our hand. When we just dive into the fire, say the fire go quench, and that is where the enjoyment continues. And that is on the lighter note. The Bible says in Second Corinthians chapter six, verse number fourteen to eighteen, come out from among them and be separate. You see that heaven? I want to go there. When it comes to dressing, my goal is to carry first it's on the gate of heaven on the last day. Please, whoever knows this mommy G.O. or you have an Instagram account or any social media account, please help me and inform her to stop misinforming people with or whatever she's saying. But anyway, now people will want believe her go believe her because from what she's saying, I don't want to judge her or I don't want to label or name whatever that she's going through in name. This is her own way of understanding her ways of how to make heaven and how to go to hell on how not to go to hell. Whatever it is, me, I just, just want to emphasize on it and sit you guys down to inform you that one mommy G.O. like that has already declared though that Bishop T.B. Joshua is in her fire so is Bishop Edahosa that is her own I hope you were entertained and updated with what mommy G.O. is but please I am telling you to just totally ignore her but please do promote and publicize my channel by simply clicking on the red icon down below to subscribe to my channel and do turn on the notification bell at this right is that subscribe button for always notifying you once I upload any fresh episode and thank you guys so much for being updated and just knowing more concerning where prophet tp joshua is well that is on a lighter note thank you so much for watching i see you in another fresh entertaining analysis interesting update and everything that has to do with your favorite celebrities favorite housemate and probably the, the analysis and recap of good ultimate search thank you guys and see you soon and bye, -bye.